Today we're going to be testing how well my research submarine can survive the Megalodon and Stormworks, and we have the Crushing Depth mod enabled. Let's get started. All right, first thing you want to do when you're in my research submarine is click Unlock Reactor right here, and then turn that on. Now that that's on, you're going to want to click Power On, and then while you're waiting for that to kick up, we want to turn on all the lights in this entire submarine. While we're waiting here, let's turn on some of our systems, so we'll activate um, our ROV camera right there, and then we're going to turn on radar, sonar, and some other stuff, and then let's turn on systems up here. So these monitors actually give us an outside view of the submarine, and we're just wanting to megalodon and go to a pretty deep part of this um ocean here and see if this submarine can actually withstand the attacks of a megalodon and there we go our generation is at three to four thousand now so now we can go in this captain seat click up and down and put our throttle all the way to one we're completely sending this thing here we go all right this is our max speed right here and our electric is on one perfect so now we're kind of looking for like a deeper part of where this ocean is at so where are we actually located okay so we're pretty far out here but i think we're gonna go over there like near those train tracks and Probably over there is going to be really deep, and this crush mod will be on, and same with um, a couple of Megalodons are going to be attacking us. So this is going to be crazy. And you know, what? while we're driving there, we're going to fill our ballast, because we do probably need to sink here. And you guys did mention it's at a little bit of a lean, so of course it's leaning to the left a little bit, as you can tell. So what you can do is actually fill the bottom right um, ballast right here, and it will um, slowly even itself out. So if we fill it up to like 7,000 right there, and it'll just level itself out perfectly like that. But yeah, let's uh, actually fill all the ballast here, and we're actually going to sink this thing real quick quick so everything's being filled currently all ballasts are on absolutely max filling power and we're going to drop this thing to the bottom here and actually see um how well this can survive some megalodon so hopefully we don't see any yet because we did just start all right we're going underwater here just like that there's water pouring in let's make sure this room right here is waterproof i'm pretty sure it is so it's fine all right we are lowering in depth right now now what we can do is enable that again to disable all that there we go all right so how deep are we already 60 oh my gosh this is actually a really deep part of the ocean here we are we might actually we reach our crushing depth uh oh we reached our crushing depth um don't want to do that yet okay dude it is so deep over here already but um wait hold on i forgot about the bridge uh where are the poles at for the bridge hold on turn on spotlights those literally do nothing to help us see where the poles are hopefully they don't go all the way to the bottom and it's just for a show but we are really deep right now actually hole 73 and we can probably drop another 30 right here so definitely crushing altitude what we're gonna do now is completely shut down our throttle here and see what happens okay throttle is completely off i do see some pulls for the bridge there oh gosh am i seeing that right i think i am hold on um let's turn on infrared mode actually no that doesn't help okay we need to do this quite slow because we're not trying to um hit any of these i can't see them in third person at all oh gosh okay what should we do here oh wait uh they actually do end up ending right there okay well that's nice at least how's that thing even staying afloat that i don't understand that okay anyways i'll um, put our throttle back all the way down all right so we're currently all the way down it is wait we're lowering in altitude no pull up go 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 oh don't crush this thing okay there we go all right we're now kind of angling upwards all right so let's kind of look at some systems here let's spawn in a megalodon while we're at it matter of fact so let's spawn in just a couple megalodons not a whole lot now that we have a couple megalodons um our generator here is at a 102 percent output oh yeah wait hold on are we getting crushed oh we're getting crushed right now i think hold on i don't see any damage so i think we're fine um our reactor just exploded i think hold on what just happened um we have water warnings we have major water alerts going on in here um what's going on with our reactor oh all of our things are red scram the reactor scram the reactor okay we're not trying to have a nuclear meltdown here dude we are really at an angle oh my god 130 we are so deep oh, wait i don't even see the bottom um uh-oh and i think we have a fire in the engine room okay we might have to activate fire suppression right now guys oh it broke open one of our ballast tank doors okay we're gonna go back here and enable fire suppression just like that and we do have some monitors here will this even work i think we're way too deep for fire suppression to work oh gosh yeah this isn't oh i think we just hit the bottom i felt that did you guys oh it's breaking a lot of stuff okay repair torch like that okay we'll repair all that stuff okay where's our water coming in at the reactor room has water main hallway kitchen and computer room okay we're gonna activate all bilge pumps and that should get all the water actually out of here just like that there we go okay everything's going back down everything's at zero we're on sustainable levels right now perfect perfect we are currently being crushed though um why is the back of this thing sitting way higher okay yeah, that's a little bit weird maybe it's not completely filled with water yeah there we go okay we want to definitely keep filling that up let's kind of see what's going on back here okay everything's looking kind of good in the crew quarters let's repair some stuff there we go all right, computer's room does have some damage, supposedly. We do not want our batteries um, breaking over here. So wait, hold on. Are, are those our batteries on fire? Oh, it's spreading to the batteries. Okay, grab this um, fire extinguisher right here and put out the fire just like that. Okay, thank gosh our fire extinguisher actually works. Let's actually go in the reactor room here because that's probably better off for this. All the way back here. Oh gosh, this fire is in a really terrible spot. Oh no. All right, fire has been extinguished, guys. I think we're fine now. We're just taking some 
slightly concerning amount of damage up here and um down here okay some of our bilge pumps are broken oh gosh okay we need where do, uh, where did i put my repair torch at i dropped it on accident um where did i put it okay we have an extra one right here okay how deep are we this time oh we're 166 deep oh my word okay this thing is being crushed from the outside um okay we just have a water warning we don't have any radiation leaks i'm actually surprised we don't have radiation leaks uh our reactor microcontroller is blinking on and off so something's definitely Definitely wrong with our reactor right now definitely having some major issues here oh my word but let's go ahead and get in our laboratory here and do some uh research stuff here so we're gonna open this door here anything going on down here i don't think so i think we're all clear yep 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 let's repair some of our ac here and then let's turn go in our hvac room and all of our atmospheres are looking pretty good so if it's around the 25 to 30 range that is perfectly fine so let's go ahead, hop in our laboratory here, do some research. Oh, yeah. All right. Let's do some research. Put some um, nuclear fluids inside of the green exhaust right there. Let's put on a hazmat suit while we're at it because this might get a little wicked here. Activate our monitor and it's not working. All right. All right. And then let's go ahead and start our experiment here. Oh, yeah. What kind? What's going to happen here? All right. We're starting the experiment. We're going to lock this chamber here. We don't want to be dying. All right. I'm going to run away here. Oh, gosh. What's going to happen? What's going to happen in the experiment? Oh, major explosion. Our experiment. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, no don't don't be doing this to me now oh there's water oh oh there's so much water filling up in that room okay that oh we're gonna keep that door closed and probably repair it repair 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 oh okay we repair the door okay now we need to go back upstairs and probably turn on um some bilge pump. oh 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 no nah, don't do that one don't do that one okay you can break everything but that door right there please i hope that wasn't open for a long time but if it does open again we're gonna close uh, some of these doors just so the water doesn't spread all right all right let's go back up here and kind of see what's going on oh our emergency batteries are on fire okay where's the fire oh we don't have a fire extinguisher in here we don't have a fire extinguisher in here okay go back up here there isn't one right here either where did i put these fire extinguishers oh no okay here's that fire extinguisher We'll grab that one just like that. Go up here. And our emergency battery is on fire. So that's probably the last thing we want. It always catches our emergency battery on fire. I don't know what's going on with that. But we repaired that. And I have to grab another welder to repair our emergency battery. Because we don't want that breaking. There we go. All right. So there's 160 water in that room right there. Oh, gosh. Oh, oh, it's spreading in here. Okay. What's going on with our bilge pumps? Computer room is filling with water. Okay. We're going to turn on bilge pumps for the computer room like that. There we go. Okay. Now it's going down. And everything's um, at a pretty steady level here with all these other rooms. Are we still getting crushed by the depth? I don't think uh, we definitely are. Dude, all of our ballast tanks on this side are open. This thing, I don't know if it's going to resurface or not, guys. This is not looking too good. Definitely not looking too good here. But what about this? Should we blow our ballast? I don't know. I don't think we need to. But let's check the map here. Where's these Megalodons at? I don't see any Megalodons. I thought I, this was a Megalodon video, not just sink the submarine video. Okay, we're spawning in a couple of Megalodons. Any Megalodons on radar? Um, Are we too deep for the Megalodons? That could be a thing, guys. That could be possibly a thing. I don't think we can even resurface surface dude this thing's just too damaged hold on we're gonna try that though all right we're gonna be activating emergency resurface we're gonna blow our ballast too while we're at it okay we're gonna blow our ballast just like that all these should turn on and start disabling oh guys i think we're gonna stay down here oh no okay well drain ballast really isn't working that much but we're gonna do emergency resurface get in the seat here we go emergency resurface is on this thing is trying to uh resurface here oh gosh will it be able to resurface i think we're way too deep for this guys but we're gonna try to of course oh gosh okay this thruster back here is not working and that one is and this one oh gosh guys emergency resurface i don't think it's gonna work oh our emergency battery's on fire again i think what's going on uh we have a fire somewhere in here is it our emergency battery i don't know oh gosh guys we're really at an angle here we might have to turn that off guys emergency resurface really isn't doing it for us okay um put it in reverse and and our engine isn't working either. Oh my gosh, this thing's really just going down today. Um, We're at a slightly concerning angle here. Okay. Oh no. Oh wait, our battery's going low. Our battery. I forgot about our battery. Oh, our generator exploded. That's what's on fire. Okay, put out that generator fire and we need to grab a fire extinguisher all the way up here. Oh my gosh. And we need to turn off emergency resurface because I don't think it's really helping us that much. Okay, what we're going to do is respawn this. But this time, the sharks are actually here. I just checked uh, sonar. Guys, we're picking something up on sonar that's really abnormal. Okay, we need to zoom in. Let's. What is that? What in the world are those red and blue dots? Okay, um, something's approaching us, guys. What is that? Do you guys know what that is? It is approaching us rapidly fast. Okay, um, wait. It's, it's, we're not picking it up anymore. Where did it go? Where did that thing go that was um approaching? Oh, oh, hello, sharky. Dude, that's like the exact same size of this thing oh my gosh okay no we need to get out of here generator what's generator at 2000 that's good enough i think we'll be fine all right completely hammer right here we're on full throttle 
And there we go. We're out of here. Um, should we fill our ballast? I don't know. I'm a little bit scared that the shark is going to really kill us here. So, um, I think we're going to stay on the surface. We're probably better off on the surface here. Oh, it's right there. Do you guys see that? It's behind us to the right. Oh, it's right there. Oh, we're taking evasive maneuvers. Turn on both thrusters. We're turning, um, right as hard as we can. Oh, don't attack us. We're turning. Turn, turn, turn. Oh, oh, it just, oh, it just broke our reactor. It just broke our reactor. Shut it down. Shut it down. Throttle to zero. Throttle to zero. Oh, we're really listing here. We're really listing. Don't hit the bottom. Oh, gosh. That was not nice of this thing. Okay, well, I think we're taking on water here. We do have some water alerts, so we're going to turn on a computer room and reactor room. Wait, did he blow up our reactor? Um, Sharky. Oh, 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 yep. Yeah, scram the reactor. We're shutting that down. Okay, main battery warning. Why is our main battery? Oh, it is our main battery broken. What happened to our main battery? Okay, let's go ahead and check it. That's a little bit concerning. Got okay our main battery is on fire that's a, a little bit of a step up there sharky i didn't know you could blow up batteries all of a sudden so our reactor's on fire so you know what we need to do is just go up here and activate fire suppression because i forgot our fire suppressed wait are we getting pushed by him hold on is he attacking oh he's attacking us again why sharky that's not nice of you okay fire suppression is active fire suppression has failed oh wow this is really going to crap guys this is really going to crap oh wait um we're capsizing we're gonna capsize turning on all bilge pumps right now enabling all bilge here we go everything is being activated oh he broke like all of our ballast tanks oh my gosh no we're not trying to fill up with water completely blow our ballast oh wait we're actually um draining all the water that's surprising not in our top front what's going on with our top front ballast uh never mind i see why okay well there's definitely a whole lot of damage up there dude we are on fire some of um a floating still we have to repair some of our um water pumps that are broken so where's our water pump at i think this is one guys fire suppression isn't working which means i have to fight it myself with um where's my fire extinguisher okay here it is i thought i lost it for a second but we need to be um use this carefully because we only have a certain amount of fire extinguishing fluid left i mean we do have another one over there all right put out this fire oh gosh there might be radiation in here i do still have my hazmat suit on so i think i will be fine but i don't know about the rest of the people dude this reactor is going into pure meltdown mode i think it's definitely not a meltdown meltdown modes are when reactors are on meltdown they're actually way more um worse than this it's like the biggest explosion ever when they um do actually meltdown but let me know if you'd like to see a meltdown video did we just get hit by, by, again by the shark um oh this thing's going down from the front oh Oh gosh. Okay. You know what? Um, get in here. Oh, there's so much damage. Hold on. Um, escape pod time. Maybe. Uh, I don't know. Okay. We need to grab our welding torch. It's going down the entire thing. Okay. What's going on? Water levels, HVAC rooms getting filled up and our main hallway. Where's our main hallway? HVAC rooms really going bad. Okay. You know, we might have to open this door here. Oh, there's water in there. Of course there is. Of course there's water in there. Of course, of course, of course. Okay. We're just trying to repair this. If I open this door right here, will water spill in? Oh, come on. Okay. You know what? What should we do here, guys? What honestly should we do? I don't know. I mean, we can abort in the escape pod. I think we're going to have to do that. All right, we're going to go in the escape pod. Okay, we're in the escape pod. There is a little bit of water in here, but we're going to open this top hatch here. Will it actually work? Okay, it does work still. Here we go. We're going out in the escape pod. Oh, gosh. Will we survive? Okay, that was actually really good. Wow. Um, I designed that pretty good, guys. And then you guys did tell me that I was missing a blinking light, and I did fix that, and it has been updated on the workshop. So make sure you go and make sure it works for yourself. All right, guys. We're back out and moving. We're trying to find where the shark's um home is at. That's what we're researching today. Yeah, totally. All right, let's fill our ballast. We're going to completely drop this thing and try seeing where the shark actually lives. Okay. <laughs> that's going to... Oh, oh, I saw the shark. You guys see the shark when I do that? Um, That's a little bit of cheating but i do see the shark oh no oh wait can we see it on here what about infrared mode can we see it on infrared mode no we definitely can't infrared mode where's the sharky hello hello where's the sharky um i can see it like out here where's the shark at i literally just saw it guys this is a little bit scary here okay where's the shark at i don't see him on here yet maybe he's just messing with us where is he oh is he over there i think he's over there oh gosh i saw him um oh gosh this is so creepy he's just gonna pop out of nowhere i'm gonna literally cry oh oh he's right there oh my gosh oh that's so creepy okay yeah definitely a little bit concerning let's activate some spotlights here look at the bottom of the ocean kind of look where the shark's home is at oh yeah where where do you live sir I, i'm gonna need to know your address okay let's um disable that oh yeah we definitely see him on radar here he's a big old red target okay don't hit the butt oh oh no not the rov oh the rov broke guys the rov has just broke okay where's the shark at hold on we're gonna completely shut this thing down where is the shark at let's go on our sonar here shark Oh, he's gone from sonar. Where'd he go? 
Um, Shark's not appearing on sonar anymore, guys. Where did he go? That's actually a little bit creepy. Oh my gosh. Dude, why is this thing listing so bad? Oh, oh, we got a target. Okay, you know what? We need to fill our bottom right ballast. We're gonna fill our right. Oh, it already is filled. Why is this thing listing so terribly bad? I don't like that. Okay, it's fine. It'll, it'll work for now. It's not gonna be permanent, but we do have a red ping on target there. Um, is it approaching us? Okay, so it's staying there. I think it's disappearing. Where did it go? Guys, we just lost eyes on the shark again. I think we're detecting it on this sonar. Nope, it's gone. Wait, is that it? I don't know. This. All right, we have regained eyes on the shark. Where is he at? Hold on, let's go and no clip. Where's the shark he at? Oh, oh, he's right there. Wait, is there anything down here? I don't see anything down here. Where's your house at, sir? Okay, if the shark's not gonna go towards us, we're gonna go towards him. Let's see how he feels about that because he did um actually destroy this thing a couple minutes ago. So where are you at, buddy? We're we're gonna locate you. Sharky, where are you? Okay, where's the shark at? We're just looking. He was in this direction when we last saw him. Um, what is that? Is that the shark right there? Uh, that might be the shark. Is that the shark? Okay, let's turn it off of that to verify. Is that the shark? That definitely looks like a shark right there. We have a shark on camera, guys. We have a shark on camera. Everyone brace for impact. Um, this might get real here in a second. Oh gosh, are we ramming him? Hold on, what's going on? Oh, we're going towards him. Oh, we're gonna run into the shark. Oh, we just ran it. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. It just exploded our entire hull. Oh, blow the ballast, blow the ballast. Guys, we're taking on major amounts of water. Blow the ballast right now. Um, the laboratory is being filled with water. Oh, our bilge pumps are being overcome by it. Guys, we're having some water issues in here right now. Oh, it's attacking us. Oh, no, we hit the bottom. Okay, blow the ballast. Emergency resurface. Here we go. Emergency resurface is activated. Oh, it's not working. It's not working, guys. We're gonna go down. We're gonna go down with the ship. This is not good. I'm a little bit panicked here. Dude, all of our monitors are displaying stuff that we don't want to be seeing. Okay, we're taking on crazy amounts of water. Um, What we're gonna do is actually do a water check. So let's see if we actually do have any water or if it's just a false alert, which it probably is. You know, nothing totally happened. All right, let's open the main hallway door right here. Just like that. Perfect. All right, it's looking good in here. I don't see any water. They're probably all lying. Okay, let's open this door right here. Oh, oh, there's definitely water in our laboratory. Okay, there's definitely water in here. You know what? I'm gonna get out of here. That's probably a good sign. Um, Maybe the escape pod again. I don't know. Um, I'm, I'm gonna really try getting this thing to the surface though, but I honestly don't know if that's gonna happen guys dude our monitor just went black and white the second we hit the megalodon that is actually crazy okay how do we um get out of here okay full thrusters i'm gonna do that one so both of the side ones right there should be trying to propel us out of this situation and it's literally not working okay you know what i feel like our best bet here would be the escape pod but does it have water in here why does it always have water in here? That's so annoying. I don't understand that at all. Um, Guys, we're taking on insane amounts of water, though. We might have to get out of here, but I'll stay on for as long as I can until we actually need to. But um, our reactor's still running, but I think we're going to turn off all lights and turn on um, emergency lights here to um keep as much electric as we can so we're gonna do that and activate emergency battery did we just get hit by the shark um no we're still at the bottom guys it's filling up with water really fast especially on um, the hvac room oh my gosh what is going on down there guys what is going on in our main hallway Eighteen thousand. that probably means i can about swim down there okay we're gonna check that out let's go for a swimming party real quick let's go for a little swimming break in our submarine oh yeah oh my gosh there's really water pouring through that door right there that is some insane air pressure okay um dude uh it's it's rising quite fast if i'm not gonna lie here oh my gosh why is it going up so fast okay now that it's all leveling out here there's just a slightly concerning amount of water in here i don't know what is going on i think we're um sinking guys actually we already did sink but as you can see um emergency resurface isn't working because all of our thrusters are actually broken for it to actually work wait is it gonna work no just only the back ones are working because they they yeah they don't have any damage um guys this thing's going down is our escape pod working how's our escape pod doing maybe we should get in here uh oh there's some water in here that's fine you know what that's fine who cares about water we're getting out of this thing um arm launch here we go open that hatch it's gonna completely flood this thing with water all right we're gonna float to the top here and activate our rocket boosters oh that was the worst idea ever that was honestly the worst possible outcome also oh my gosh okay um activate the transponder here transponders on all right we're a piece of glowing equipment but we did survive guys of course we survived because we have the ultimate escape pod in our research submarine honestly what a great thing i added dude how deep are we this thing's still floating up oh my gosh i can barely even see the surface okay now i can see some clouds and now i can see some waves okay guys we're rising up there i see the pillars I see the support beams of the train tracks, and there we go. We did successfully resurface, and now we're um, free shark food, basically. But yeah, guys, that's probably going to be it for this video. Let me know if we should do some more videos on my research submarine, and let me know what we should do next in the comments. Make sure you join the Discord. Link is in the description. Drop a like and subscribe while you're at it. But thanks for watching, and goodbye.